A chorus of concerns over staff safety and nurse pay in Washington hospitals grew louder with this crowd outside Seattle Children's. It isn't just about right here, right now, us needing a fair wage. It's about the nurses finally speaking out and saying we are tired. The Washington State Nurses Association says most, if not all, hospitals it represents face nurse shortages, which administrators sometimes fill with contract or travel nurses making higher wages. I'm emotionally torn about it because I, I know we need them. I'm glad that they are there to help, but at the same time, I wish that the hospital were doing something different so that we didn't need them. So why not just pay current nurses those rates? While travel nurses hourly rates are higher, a report by accounting group KPMG showed they can still cost less overall for hospitals due to lower benefit recruiting and training costs. In three current and 12 upcoming contract talks, WSNA says it's urging hospital boards to focus on retaining permanent nurses, both for staff stability and patient safety. They tend to have experience and be great nurses, but they don't necessarily know what our policies and protocols are, and especially in an emergency situation. For its part, a Seattle Children's spokesperson says the hospital values team members is committed to leading in compensation and is working to reach a fair agreement as soon as possible. But WSNA says it's an industry-wide issue, especially in Washington markets where cost of living is skyrocketing. In Seattle, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.